Today's episode is brought to you by Privacy. Yeah, head on over to privacy.com slash rogue, spell it right, R-O-G-U-E, and get $5 of real money to spend on whatever you want. Wait a minute, you're not even Jason Murphy. Why are you, I guess we'll have to find out at the end. I wanted $5. What did I tell you, kiddo? The world's first interdimensional heist. Look at her. She's beautiful. What is it? This is Rex's Glen Cairn glass. The one that he uses to drink all the whiskey on the Whiskey Tribe channel. Why is it on our set? It's not technically our set. It's alternate dimension us. It's, it's, oh. There's a deep lore behind it. Why don't we just steal his whiskey? Have you seen how much whiskey it is? I can't possibly carry that. But if we take away the glass, then he can't enjoy the whiskey, and all that matters to me is that he's miserable. Okay, okay, okay. Evil laugh. <laughs> we'll work on it. Uh, uh, okay. We could just, you know, lift the... What, uh, what are you doing? You just activated lasers. lasers. I don't even understand. Okay. There were lasers. All right, all right, no lasers. Uh, what else we got? Quick, 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 quick. Oh, 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 yeah. quick. Uh, yeah. uh, nope, uh, okay. too loud, too loud, too okay. loud, too loud. All right, I mean... I'm unfamiliar with that. I was not there for that episode. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I, I got. I have this. This. This stuff. Oh. Uh, I don't know what it is. What? You ain't never seen Superman one? Oh. We're real cat burglars. Finally. Now. Do I? No. 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 Oh, okay. uh, close. Close. Jason Murphy, this has to be one of the all-time classic movie tropes. Oh, yeah. My earliest memories were of cat burglars uh, sneaking their way in by cutting the glass and then grabbing the Jeep job. Yeah. Great Muppet Caper? Did they do it in that? Probably. Well, they stole the baseball diamond? I, I, I definitely remember on Superman, either one or two. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, one of the Superman movies, uh, pretty sure. It, yeah, it's a thing. I don't even know that the cut gloves are enough. Like, like, like I want to put gloves over <laughs> gloves over gloves. Cut. I need less dexterity. <laughs> That's the first time I've said that. <laughs> okay, so we have here a circular glass cutter. These are available for really cheap on Amazon. There you go. Did I do that? Nope, I clearly did not do that right. There you go, doing it wrong. Nope. No? Uh, okay, hmm. hold on. Here, I'm gonna push harder. Oh. <gasps> okay. Oh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get farther than this, right? <laughs> please, please. <laughs> Right? That looks right. Pretty legit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have another one of those. Do you have another that. one of these? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's that's unsucked. This is sucked. Right? Hey! Okay, alright. And then and then this goes in. Yep. And you've got the little blade on the end of that right there. Yeah. On this part right here. And Superman's nowhere to be found, right? No, we're good. Oh, I hear deer the cracking. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can see the line you're scoring in the glass. I didn't think this was going to work. Like, I, I mean... That's about as good as I think we're gonna get to work. Oh, really? <laughs> you, you, you think we're not headed for success? Here? I don't think we're headed for success. It sounds like the movies, too. It does! Yeah, some of the techniques said don't do it over and over like that, but I can't see why. What? Why would you not do, yeah. That seems like the way to do it, oh, right? Oh, but you haven't gotten the bottom. I know. Because, because the arm it's too is too long. long. Yeah. We'll have to lift it up and turn it on its side or something. Want to do that now? Let's do Actually, that. Actually, yeah. Okay. <laughs> At this point, we really could just have the MacGuffin. <laughs> oh, hey, we could just grab it. It's okay. No such thing as a perfect circle. It's impossible. I mean, at this point, I'm feeling like it's working pretty much it's, like it's, in the movies. Well, in the movies, it takes like seconds, right? And if you don't have one of these, you, you use a, what, a diamond ring or something Oh, a like diamond, that. Yeah. yeah. Often, like in Mission Impossible and other stuff, you see a laser cutter. Which, what? That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's real or not. That don't make no sense. Yeah, Lasers like a portable laser cutter? glass. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that Isn't part. that the purpose of glass is to be a thing that light goes through? 
<laughs> I, I feel like it's getting scored. No, it definitely is getting scored. I think you probably got it. Maybe some more over here though. And with glass cutting uh, at this stage, you're not trying to go all the way through. This is really just kind of priming it and getting you started. Uh, and I think we're probably ready to move on. What is that? This is where it gets tricky and where we might hurt ourselves and destroy the glass. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, we just kind of- Sounds ding, familiar. Ding, 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 like around the corner here and like give it a little push It's like a in. weird ass hammer. Well, it's it too has a little cutter in it as well, but it does, you are supposed to use it for like- okay. What the important question is, is this scored enough? I think so. Yeah, based on what I've seen, yes. Quite, actually. Okay. Like, knock it off, please. <laughs> Do you want eye protection? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. So what, we just kind of gently taparoo around and see if we can... Yeah, yeah It's basically. not exactly a one-for-one one because this would be coming in from the side, but I think it's as close as we're going to get. Now you see on this thing, we've got a little ball on the end here that we could use, or this, which we're, you're supposed to just kind of tap around it, I believe. Right. But there's also a little blade here where you can do additional cutting if you need. But man, I think this is this, this is one of those moments where it's like you want to push down the heart. I know we could do scoring like that. Oh, that just right? seems like they would shatter outward. The whole purpose is to make it a singular hole on the inside, right? Yeah, like Let's just, I'm, I'm so timid. I... Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not exactly a fan of failing to break glass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't want to slip and... Now, a lot of the techniques I see actually have the glass uh, removed from its casing and flat on the table, gripping it, applying pressure and stuff like that, but that's not what we're doing. To be clear, we believe that glass cutters cut glass. Uh, Absolutely. What, what we're trying to figure out is whether or not, like, cat burglars can use it to yeah. sneak in and steal gems. And I'm... Mmm! Mmm! I don't know, man. It's not feeling like it. Ooh. God, this just... Have we not scored it enough? I, I, I really think we have. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've seen this episode. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> when there is tempered glass, you can poke it in, if you hit it in one specific part. Remember we did the thing with the rock chip that broke the window? Yeah. That's what this is, so that you can escape from a car. Okay, but this but, is not tempered glass. Correct, this is real glass that's gonna slice you the hell apart if you, oh uh, man, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, okay. Yeah, put that on. Three, two, one. What? I mean, yep. we definitely got in, but it also, the scoring did nothing. Man. Yeah, right? Okay. Do you want to try again? Yeah, I do. Do we do we score it deeper? Hmm. Uh. Oh God, this is just straight up shattered glass. This is a liability trap. Are you kidding me? All right, have you ever seen this actually work in real life? Uh, I have seen videos of them doing it. When it was done successfully, they often just had the glass loose and flat, right? Because they weren't trying to burgle anything. Right. So in this case, really the only option, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> now I got to find the center again. Boo. Being a cat burglar sucks. So if the whole purpose of doing this in a cat burglar scenario is to not disturb an alarm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like that's not gonna work real well. I feel like a smashing grab would have worked way better. I feel like just singing Smash Mouth would work better. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like on a long enough timeline, you would eventually gouge out 
but burglary through erosion? <sighs> it's not suck. Okay, now it is. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> All right, give, give me give me that other one. The, Whatever the, the this this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that just seems like everything's gonna shatter. Yeah. The moment we tap it. Yeah. It does make that cool sound though. It does. There's no way this is gonna pop out and all of these are gonna stay. No, you are correct. <laughs> Sir. I don't know. You tap it. I guess. Uh, watch it just go. Oh, jeez. Oh, don't push down. So scared. I know. Yeah, man. I don't. What if we both hit at the same time on different sides? Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just a little bit harder now. Oh. That didn't go anywhere near the scored lines. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. I mean, we got some kind of circular. What is? All right, keep. Oh dear. See? We're just smashing grabbing. This is all smash mouth. You got around the, the, the edge though. Hey now, this sucks. You're an all star. The end. Okay. We ready to pass judgment on this one? Legend. Legend tested. This is some bull. This is some bull. <laughs> Somebody probably has advice. Yeah. Uh, I've heard that people like to give advice on the internet. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Give us advice because this all smells uh, very fecal. I, I think we were doing something a little wrong, but not totally wrong. So, legend tested. Yeah. Get on out of here. <laughs> Suck it, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? Because I'm not just a producer of yours, I'm a privacy customer. And I'm here to tell you a story. First of all, okay? why are you looking at them and not me? That's weird. Uh, don't do that. You know what? Now I'm going to look at them. Everybody at home, privacy.com is an amazing service that allows you to create one-time use cards to protect your privacy. You ever want to sign up for a free trial? You use the card when it runs out. They can't take any of your money. They don't sell any of your information. Better than credit cards in every single way. And they'll get $5. And you'll get $5 of real money that you can spend on anything you want. All right, go on. I have a privacy story. Yes. But first, I'd like to tell you a little Hollywood story. It's 1995. Cameron Crowe is casting Jerry Maguire. And of course, he wants to cast Cuba Gooding Jr. as Rod Tidwell. And Cuba Gooding Jr. comes in to do the audition, and he does what Cuba does best, which is drop the mic. And Cameron Crowe's blown away. Like, whoa, this guy's amazing. He's perfect. Uh, you know what? He's so good at that. And he, we've only looked at one person because we were only going to cast him. Let's let's look. Let's shop around a little bit. Maybe the role's just too easy. Okay, look, we're doing an ad for privacy about one-time well, use cards let me tell that you. are built into your web browser that you click a button and you create a one-time use card. Privacy, Cuba Gooding Jr. and me. Okay, sorry. They did such a good job that I thought, well, then any company can do this. I'm going to go to oh, one of their competitors. No. I'm going to generate a one-time use card with one you of those have, guys. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't I have should done not that. have That's done that. I go to this other place. First of all, they want my money up front. So I have to actually deposit money with them. And I'm like, okay, it's new. It's different. Let me, let me just try that. And then I generate the card. Turns out every card you generate has a $5 fee. So now the $20 I put in there is only 15. And this I'm like, is you know terrible. what? It is very terrible. So I'm like, you know what, Baxi's, I no, want no, no, out. No, no. Just it's give like... me whatever money you can back. And they said, oh, no problem, sir. We'll give you your $15 back in eight to 10 business days. Yeah! This is like the antimatter of privacy. Privacy so... gives you $5 for signing up. They make sure all your information is secure. They don't sell it to nobody. And you get $5. Yes, but. Don't fall for the fake ones, okay? Because as easy as privacy makes it look, they're really doing a great job. Yeah, because they're awesome. Privacy.com slash rogue, R-O-G-U-E, spell it right. Privacy, spell that right too, I assume. But it was genuinely just a miserable half day experience. Of, 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 of trying to do the cheap route? Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't even cheap. It was the I more figured, expensive, yeah. inferior route.
offer and link in the description below. I think if there's one thing we've proved on our series is that movies are not reality. <laughs> what about Fast 9? They went to space, dude. They went to space? They take a, a Fiero and get, they go to space in it. In a Fiero? Yep. Now I have to see the movie. I mean, you're not wrong. It's all about family. <laughs>